And so he went into Tall Pines Forest. As he was navigating the forest, he saw what he thought was a normal clearing, perfect for any camping trip. He decided to get a closer look. This outreach has gone on long enough. How many of our brothers and sisters do we need to see turn into post-it notes and toilet paper before we do something? We cannot let this continue. I see what you're saying, but we can't just eliminate- Long Branch is right! We have let the growth of humans go unchecked for far too long. They've had their chance at free will, and they have took advantage. They have become tyrants. But- I'm with Rough Bark on this. We cannot let this murder go on any longer. The humans must be stopped. What do you propose we do then? We haven't acted in a millennia. We're suddenly going to step in now? I mean, normally I agree with you, but not this time, nah. The human race is running its course, and where the sour course is, been like fresh water, tainted with limestone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! I think it's best that the extinction of that sorry species not be left to the ice age or meteor. I don't think that the earth is time for that. The humans must die. Die! 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 die. Paul tried to tell others of what he had seen amongst the tall pines, but none believed. As a result, he had to forgo his dreams of becoming a lumberjack. The lumberjack club suffered greatly without their leader. Morale was at an all-time low. They wanted to believe what Paul said was true, but they could not even begin to comprehend something so absurd. All I'm saying is, you can't be the leader of a lumberjack club if you're afraid of trees. The guy can't even use a toothpick, much less chop wood. So who's gonna lead us then? You? His love life suffered along with the rest. Jackie was having second thoughts about the man she thought was Paul B. Arbor. He no longer had that rugged drive that she had found so appealing. The flame of danger and mystery that encompassed him was wavering. Her love was weakening at the sight of him growing scared and fragile. As he slid into the depths of paranoia, the new life he had built for himself quickly crumbled apart. He took to mixing prescription pharmaceuticals with high-proof alcohol, but even this strong combination did little to quell the feelings of terror that welled inside him. If one saw him on the street, he would appear a maniac, drowning within the depths of his own mind. Things were worse now for Paul than they had been even before the start of the club. What Paul had once thought the key to his salvation had turned out to be the damnation of the human race. He felt as though the universe was coming apart at its seams. Paul was committed to the St. Elizabeth's Insane Asylum, due to be released when his sanity showed signs of resurfacing. While he was on the inside, the Lumberjack Club continued its normal routine. Uh, what's the point? Though half-heartedly. Paul received all news of the club and the rest of the outside world from Jackie, who visited frequently. Although it was bad in the asylum, it was then that Paul learned he truly loved her. Jackie had set her grievances aside. Although she couldn't explain it, she knew she loved Paul, insane or not. There was something about him she couldn't put her finger on. As for the rest of humanity, little changed. The world continued to turn, and things remained relatively normal. Until one day... <laughs> The world was wholly unprepared for the coming of the trees. They came swiftly and fought fiercely with no regard for human life. In the blink of an eye, they appeared to rise up from nowhere, ready to wreak havoc. It seemed as though nothing would stop them. In a state of utter helplessness, 
The mayor turned to Paul for the solution, as he was considered the only knowledgeable source on the subject. Bring me that nutcase. Mr. Arbor. Save it. I already know. Now get me out of this cage. Surrender? Nay, I offer our unconditional friendship. How do I know this is not another of man's tricks? Because I am not a man. Booyah!